Today we'll go over several levels of Excel shortcuts. Shortcuts allow you to quickly perform functions within an Excel file. Shortcuts make you more productive so you can spend your time on more important aspects of your job. Shortcuts will also demonstrate your Excel skills to others. It never hurts to show off a bit for your colleagues. Welcome to Excel Level Up, where our focus is on helping you improve your Excel knowledge. For the video today, we will cover shortcuts for beginner, intermediate, and advanced users. We're going through these items quickly, so you may find it useful to rewatch sections, if not the entire video. Let's start with the beginner shortcuts. Control page up or control page down. This will navigate between sheets or tabs within the same workbook. While simple, even many advanced users rely on their mouse to click between tabs. Please start using this shortcut today. Control S to save your file. If you don't already have autosave turned on, Control S can prevent accidental data loss. It also serves as a reminder if you haven't saved a new file yet. Now the intermediate shortcuts. Alt Enter. When editing a text cell, Alt Enter will create a line break that allows you to control how text wraps in a cell. Too many users incorrectly try to control the text wrap break by resizing a column. Alt Enter is the right solution. The right click key on the keyboard. While not technically a shortcut, the underutilized right click button on the keyboard performs the same function as right clicking the mouse. This key is normally positioned between the function and control keys on the bottom right of your keyboard. This key works in almost any program that allows right clicks. We will end with two advanced shortcuts. The F4 key to repeat the previous formatting change. As an example, you're highlighting certain cells for your colleague to review. The beginner or intermediate user will manually click the yellow fill button for each cell. The advanced user will only perform this step once and then hit the F4 key to repeat on other cells. This shortcut can be used for text or cell formatting. Alt-A-C. Do you ever receive a large file with many columns and rows and you are unsure if any filters have been applied? You painfully check each column heading and remove all applied filters. A faster alternative is Alt-AC. Alt-AC will clear any filters on the worksheet while still leaving the filter option in place. As a quick memory guide, consider the AC acronym as All Clear. Do you have any favorite shortcuts that I missed? Please add them in the comments for others to learn. Let me know if you would like a part two of this video. We find that series are enjoyable to create. Have a great day.